so hello guys welcome to another video now this is an updated video I've already made one video before on how to save your battery life the link for which will be down in the description below but that was for the lollipop beta ROM so this is uh, our final update so this is an updated video of how to protect or improve your battery life or the standby time at least because we all know that the battery life after this update has been a nightmare so many of the things that I'll show in this video will require you to root your phone and also install the exposed module so if you have not rooted your phone there is a link in the description below on how to root your phone there's also a link in the description below on how to install the exposed framework so if you are not done these things you know you can head over to those videos and do those first and then come back over here okay so the first thing that you need to do is install you know after the update is battery calibration as I've also said before in my previous video is that head over to this battery calibration app okay charge your phone to be 200 percent full so the milli voltage value should be around 4000 something okay this should be 100 percent and still check if this milli volt is increasing if it's increasing you know keep it charged okay keep charging and when this value finally becomes a constant value or fluctuates between 58 and 59 or something you know then you can click on battery calibration okay which will delete the battery stats file and so that android can reconfigure itself okay so then you need to restart your phone and definitely try to completely empty the battery to around one to two percent before charging again so the next thing that you can do is greenify now green some of the features of greenify work without root okay so if you have not rooted your phone you can still try out greenify okay so what this does is hibernates the apps that you don't use mainly a lot like i have this six x apps over here from which i don't require notification i use once in a while okay like facebook zomato flipkart the popular ones so what i do is hiber i hibernate them so that you know, they don't keep running in the background eating up my ram or my battery okay so remember hibernating apps can help can prevent these apps from showing notifications so you can also head over to experimental mode and working mode you can change it to boost provided you have exposed module in, in uh, exposed framework installed you can keep it to just root if you have just rooted your phone but have not installed exposed modules okay so and there are various other things to start and try out to improve your battery further so that will be your step number two to improving your battery okay this does help a lot it increases your standby time by a whole lot more the third thing that you need to do will, will re require you to use exposed module framework so what you need to do is head over to exposed installer after you have installed it go to downloads okay and type out fixed memory leak i have a separate video for that in the disk which with the link for which will be down in the description below okay but all you need to do is download this module fix lollipop memory leak okay activate it you know just tick this checkbox reboot your phone and the module will be activated what this does is fixes the color fade memory leak in android where you know the lock screen animation was not releasing the memory keeping your phone awake and thus reducing your battery life or your standby time so get fixed memory leak lollipop memory leak and it will improve your standby time by a lot okay the first and the last and the most important step is the ds battery saver or the deep sleep battery saver now this works like a charm especially when you are not using your phone for a long time say you are in a school or you are in an exam or a seminar or you are sleeping at night but you don't use your phone much except for phone calls and not much of texting so what you can do is head over to the battery deep the deep sleep battery saver app and choose any of these profiles so what this will do is like you know send your phone to deep sleep every time your screen turns off okay it will switch off your Wi-Fi your 3G and anything else running in the background that can eat up your battery of course if the it will allow the phone to wake up from deep sleep for around one minute or whatever time you specify depending upon what preset you choose so if you choose slumber it will never wake up from deep sleep if you choose aggressive it will open up every two hours for one minutes to sync all your notification apps and incoming push notifications and there are various other presets which you can edit on your own so there's a lot of stuff to go through 
but also this is an exposed module so you will need exposed mod uh, installer for this installed so those are the few steps which you can use to improve your battery life by a huge amount as you can see i have 70 percent battery left with 12 hours of battery life still left so i'll just head over to the battery usage okay there you go so as you can see my screen on time is around 2 hours 32 minutes 52 seconds okay now let's see the charging graph i did charge in between for a while there you go and that was the whole time that my phone was without charge and these are the two times that i have charged for a very short while okay so as you can see my battery life improved a lot so even you know if your battery life is giving you nightmares on your zenfone 5 after you have updated to lollipop these are the steps to follow so that you can improve your battery so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again in the next video